The first images from the Rubin Observatory just dropped and I am both awestruck and worried. In just over 10 hours of initial observation, which mind you is not even the scientific observation, they are still in testing phase. They captured over 10 million galaxies and found over 2000 new asteroids. As if that wasn't impressive enough, the Vera C. Rubin Observatory located in Chile is about to embark on a 10 year journey to study the Southern night sky in ways we have never seen before. But not just capturing pictures, no, we are entering an era of astro cinematography. The 3200 megapixel camera, which is the size of a car and the largest digital camera we've ever built, will create a high def movie of our universe. It's expected to uncover 17 billion new stars, millions of exploding stars and comets and asteroids, and over 20 million new galaxies, which if you do the math real fast, over 10 years is roughly 100 new galaxies every single second. And remember that alien looking rock Oumuamua that we found a couple years ago and it turned out to just be the first interstellar rock that we've ever found? This observatory is expected to find and study tons of those. This 8.4 meter telescope, which is located in the Atacama Desert in Chile, is truly a work of art. It is going to capture more information about our universe than all optical telescopes combined throughout history. It might help us find Planet Nine, which is this elusive, theorized, Neptune-sized planet lurking in the depths of our solar system. And it's going to be so important to the study of dark matter and dark energy, which make up like 95% of all matter and energy in the universe, but yet we can't see it. So important, in fact, that it's named after Vera C. Rubin, whose observations provided the first evidence of dark matter and dark energy. I just spent two minutes telling you how amazing this observatory is, yet I am very worried for its future because the proposed fiscal year 26 budget for the National Science Foundation is set to cut its budget by 56%. The National Science Foundation and the Department of Energy Office of Science are who funds this even though it is in Chile. 56% is what people are calling extinction level. Like science is on the chopping block here in the US and astronomers and astrophysicists all over the world are worried for good reason, but so should you, the general public, because what we learn from the universe and how we build these telescopes directly correlates to innovations here on Earth. For example, the optics have to be incredibly precise and you know what also needs to be incredibly precise? Target targeting tumors when you have cancer so that you don't affect or harm the surrounding tissue. So if you want to see more images like this and continue humanity's pursuit of science and innovation, please contact your representatives. Honestly, just feel free to send them this video.